<laughs> hey, yo, tell them Pastor Troy and them down South Georgia boys said, since everybody think they sold it, then what's up? We'll go to war. Hey, let's go. You say you want war, let's go, let's go. You say you want war, let's go, let's go. You say you want war, let's go. I want war. Hey, let's go. You say you want war, let's go, let's go. You say you want war, let's go, let's go. Lorenzo Carter got pressure on the quarterback. On the slot to the right, stop going that way, and it's intercepted by Aaron Davis. by Quincy Mauger. Here they come running out. Stout, deep ball, got a man, broken up. At the last moment back there in the secondary by Reggie Carter. Yeah, that was Jerron Peak. Play. Had a step back there. Intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Dominic Sanders. He's still running in circle. Sanders across the 30. And tripped up near the 10-yard line. Be returnable. T.J. Green from the four. Oh, did he get pasted? The ball came out. They're calling it a fumble. They threw the beanbag down. Tim Kimbrough, number 42. Georgia ball. Wow.
covered up, so now here's Mark scrambling. At the 35, he's going to hit it. It's intercepted again. Matty Mark throws another pick. It's Dominic Sanders who brings it back this time. Pressure comes, loose football, Georgia picks it up. Dominic Sanders will take it to the house. 54 yards. They bring Timmons into the backfield, a receiver, and they hand it off to him, but he's going nowhere. Lorenzo Carter has been all over the field. failed to score at least 20 points in a game under Gus Malzahn and they might not get another chance. Leonard Floyd smothers backup quarterback Jeremy Johnson. 24 yards, best play of the day offensively for Missouri. Back to Hunt, picked off again. Off the hands of Jimmy Hunt. Mauger takes it away. Interception number three, turnover number four. A lot of pressure on his shoulders right now trying to make something happen. Just a freshman. And he's in trouble, and down he goes. It's Leonard Floyd again. The noon one trapped in the backfield, trying to turn the corner and can. Holy cow, what a shot he took from Quincy Morgan. Bowling flushed. Last play of the game set by the freshman Lorenzo Carter. And Georgia ends it with an exclamation mark. singled out in our meetings yesterday. Jeremy Pruitt, the defensive coordinator, really likes Jonathan Ledbetter and what he can bring to that defensive front. Guys left for the Gators. Over the middle and picked off. Back at the 15-yard line. Out to midfield. Jarvis Wilson. There is Jarvis Wilson, the true freshman early enrollee out of Tupelo, Mississippi with a 52-yard return. AJ Terman will get the carry, no game.
great job that time by Natrez Patrick. A guy that Pruitt singled out yesterday as well. Another newcomer, true freshman, early entrant. He likened him to a player he had at Alabama, and Dante Hightower, because of what they're doing on the ground. And they'll say a sack there as Ramsey can't get out of traffic. And there's Natrez Patrick again, the youngster. Wearing number six out of Atlanta at Mays High School. USA Today, second team All-American, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution Defensive Player of the Year, had 111 tackles as a senior. You're short from the get-go, but yeah, the tight end position has uh, held up pretty good this spring. Tell you what, the Patrick kid has had a pretty good game so far. Hey, Trez. He's, he's shown up a couple of different times. Really I know has. Coach Pruitt's pretty high on him. He has uh, he's made uh, a little bit of a name for himself this spring. I think he's shown that he'll play hard, he'll play physical. He's not intimidated by the whole situation. You know, coming in mid-year, you know, he, you know, like you say, could have been in high school right now, but here he is playing in the spring game for Georgia and doing a nice job.